16 combined cylinders, 850 horsepower on the back of this Edgewater 340cc. Come on up here and let's check it out as if that power isn't enough for you already, right? You die-hard fishermen are gonna love this thing. You got the live well in the corner of the transom, you expect that. You got the fold-away bench seat that folds flush so it's not in the way when you're fishing, you expect that. You got five rocket launchers down the transom, you got rock, uh, rod holders going forward, you got rocket launchers up top, you expect all that. Check this out, look at this live well. Not only is this thing humongous, it has this gigantic viewing port so you can watch your bait swimming around. You always know when they're in good shape. It's got a double gasket on the hatch, so that sucker's gonna lock down tight and not spill all over the place. Now, over here, this is what you call a tackle center. Look at this. You got your spool holders for your leaders right there. You got your plier holders right there. You got two knife holders right there. Two bulk drawers. Ooh, look at all those slots in that thing. That is nifty. I can see you filling all that up with all your leads, right? And then down here, you got multiple tackle boxes. Got the little strap so they don't accidentally fall out, but they're still easy to access. That is some good stuff right there. When it comes to tackle stations, that's gonna be tough to beat. Both sides, you got fish boxes in the deck. These things are plenty big. I'm saying you can fit a 110, 15, 20 pound swordfish into there if you try. You can certainly get a, a couple of 100 pound tunas in there. And interesting, this deck box, rather than turning this into another fish box, because it is a little shallower, they utilize this space by turning it into a rod box. It's got your racks right here. You swing these out, and then you can stick some rods in here so you can lock them up. These are locking latches right here. You can lock them up, and they're safely secured when you're not on the boat. That's a nice little touch. Up here at the helm, I love how they built into the pipe work your steps. Yeah, you got an access hatch in the top there so you can get up top. But you know, one of the things that, that most builders don't ever think about, you know, I might be running this boat, or you know what? My wife might be running this boat, or one of my kids might be running this boat. And obviously, you know, I, I might be a little bit taller than them, right? Now this level here works great for me. I can sit here no problem at all. What if you're a little bit on the short side? Well, you just flip this little latch, swing this down, and now, you gain a couple inches. That's, that's pretty cool. You got cushions you can snap down up here to turn this into a lounger. But look at underneath. That's where the cushions are right now. Not only do you have tons of stowage area, you've actually got dive tanks, dive tank racks right there. So that is really a nice perk. Tons of stowage. And it doesn't end there. You've also got stowage underneath all the forward seating sections. Just put, pop the little latch there, pops right up on a gas assist strut. It's a lighted compartment. This hatch is fully finished and it's gasketed. That's a quality setup right there. You know, there are a million and one 34 foot center consoles. And yes, you can find others that have that much horsepower on the back. They perform just like this boat performs. So as you go out and check out all these different 34 foot center consoles, Make sure you look at the Edgewater 340cc. This boat is going to be on your shortlist.